Have you come looking for the death school? Well, you found where it used to be. This gaping chasm is all that is left after it was torn from Ravenwood. It is said that Malastare, the death professor, caused it to disappear. I'm not sure what happened to the school, but you'll find many rumors around town about it. Oh, I'm Malorn Ashthorn. I don't mean to boast, but I used to be one of Malastare's top students. Now, I'm about all that's left, so I try to teach the new students. So if you want, I can teach you some death spells or necromancy. If you're up for it, stop by any time. Student, welcome to the School of Storm, also known as Divination. For those who have chosen to master this magic are known as Diviners. I am Professor Halston Bellstrom, Master Inventor. Oh yes, and Professor of Storm Magic? Who can master the power of the Storm Lords in the Seas? Anyone who could harness their creativity. You look like a smart one. Check back when you're ready to start learning how to release your inner thunder! History of the School of Storm. Before time as we know it, there existed the Tritons. They shared the universe with the dragons and giants. The Tritons ruled the seas and kept peace in the world, that is, until the dragons and giants began to scheme. When the attack happened, the Tritons were ready. They refused to fully destroy their enemy and so fell into slumber as their price for mercy. Today, the storm elements still exist. Even now, the more potent storm magic holds fire and ice at bay. Under the guidance of Professor Halston Bailstrom, great reforms have been made, formalizing many spells. The colors chosen for diviners are purple and yellow, while the amethyst has been adopted as the gemstone. Welcome, dear. I am Lydia Greyrose, your ice magic professor. Ice magic, or thaumaturgy, is not for the impatient or flighty. My goodness, no. You need to study hard to learn ice magic, but I'm sure you will be great at it. And I'll always offer a hand if you need it. Come see me later when you are ready to begin your lessons. You have much to learn from ice. History of the Ice School. In the beginning, there were the giants, who were great in power and ruled the air. After the Great War with the dragons and the tritons, the giants went into a state of stasis. But their powers still inhabit our world, and it is from this that ice magic derives its basis. And because it is derived from the giants, ice magic will always be more powerful than that of fire and storm. As for today's school, 
much progress has been made in the teaching of ICE under the tutelage of Professor Greyrose. Under her watch, many new and powerful spells have been added to the school's compendium. Light blue and white were adopted as the school colors, and the gemstone chosen to represent all thaumaturgists is sapphire. Hello. Welcome to the School of Fire. I'm Madame Faumea. Ah, oh, yes. You're a new student here. You definitely have that spark about you. Here, I instruct students how to be powerful pyromancers. But fire can be quite dangerous. We must not be rash lest we destroy that which we mean to achieve. Come see me after you have finished your tour. I'm always up for fanning the flames so students can learn more about pyromancy. History of the Fire School. In the days of yore there dwell the giants, the tritons, and the most powerful of all, the dragons. For many eons, there was peace. That is, until the Tritons and the Giants began to bicker on trivial matters. Finally, war broke out between the two sides, and the Dragons became involved as the universe was threatened. In order for there to be peace, the Dragons used their great power to stop the war, and the world became dormant and silent. Though the Dragons now sleep, Fire magic, the most powerful of magics, comes from the essence that dragons released into fire and magma. As for today, the school has become more formal and organized under Professor Falmea. All pyromancers should know that the school colors are red and orange, while the gemstone is the ruby. Let me guess. Another conjurer want to be taking the Ravenwood tour? How quaint. Professor Drake shakes his head in frustration. I wish they would send us some adept pupils for once. Well, if you wish to attempt to learn some myth spells, come back later and I will see how well you pay attention. Now, leave me alone. Myth? is imagination. The power of the mind and everything it can create drives the myth arts. It is illusion, dreams made real. If you can conceive it, you can bring it forth, bring it to life. Wizards of the myth school, known as conjurers, use naming to summon beasts of legend by memorizing and calling out their true name. Myth dwells between fire and ice for that is where the shadows lie. And myths are the shadowy forms of thought made real. The gemstone of the school is peridot. The school colors are yellow and royal blue. Welcome, my dear young wizard. I am Mu Linda Wu, professor of the School of Life. This school celebrates the living, evergreen power of creation and vitality. If you listen carefully to your surroundings, 
you'll hear life magic all around. Just a few notes can lift one's troubles, purify one's spirit, and restore life. Soon I will teach you how. Come visit me when you're ready to learn more. Life is spirit, the force of awareness and existence. It is studied by those who embrace the power of all that is living and strive to perpetuate its life force. Life removes chaos from the world and creates order to make that which is self-sustaining. Inner peace and discipline are traits of all thurges. On the triangle of magic, life sits between fire and storm, for the spark of life comes from those two forces. Under the leadership of Professor Wu, the school colors of green and brown have been adopted, representing the hues of nature. The brightly colored stone, known as jade, has become the gemstone of all thurges. Oh, good. Now you know where all your classes are held. I hope you liked all the Ravenwood instructors. If you want, you can wander about to see what all Wizard City has to offer. I should mention, though, there have been some strange events around town. Nothing serious, nothing that a promising wizard like you couldn't handle. So, as a reward for your visiting all the instructors, here is a new spell card. Don't forget to add it to your deck. I want you to introduce yourself to Diego, the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way, on the right. Thank you. 